It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm gonna talk about the strangest video I found in favor of Black Lives Matter. Did you know Black Lives Matter have always been part of Islam for over 1400 years? Honestly, I had no idea that Islam of all religions supported black lives. So please inform me, just how did Islam support black lives matter? Matter in Islam? Black lives have always mattered in Islam. This video, just by the mere seconds of it, is already demonstrably wrong by the mere premise. Islam has never, ever supported black lives. 1635 of the Quran, Allah presents an example, a slave who is owned and unable to do a thing, and he to whom we have provided us good provision. So he spreads it secretly and publicly. Could they be equal? Praise to Allah. Allah Most of them do not know. 1671, and Allah has favored some of you over others in provision, but those who were favored will not hand over the provision to those their right hands possesses so that it could be equal to them therein. Then is it the favor of Allah? Allah they reject. 2432 and Mary the unmarried among you and the righteous among your male slaves and female slaves. If they should be poor, Allah Allah will enrich them from his bounty and ah, ah, is all encompassing and knowing. Translation. So, if a slave owner owns a slave, they can marry off the slave to whatever person they want to. How lovely. But what did Muhammad really think about slavery? I mean, I'm sure he did not actually approve of slavery and not just Allah. Allah Messenger said, There is no zakat either on a horse or a slave belonging to a Muslim. Gee, you're mean to tell me that Allah supported slavery because Muhammad himself supported slavery? It's almost as if God is just a reflection about what people believe and not actually a legit thing that we care about. Not only did Muhammad support slavery, but of course, according to the Hadith, he also owned slaves, including black slaves. There came a slave and a pledge allegiance to Ah, Ah, Apostle on migration. He, the Holy Prophet, did not know he was a slave. Then came his master and demanded him back, whereupon Ah, Allah, Apostle said, sell him to me, and he's brought for two black slaves, and he did not afterward take allegiance from anyone until he asked him whether he was a slave or a free man. Besides the fact that Muhammad bought and sold black slaves and thought that black slaves are worth less than the other slaves, there was also humongous entire slaves trade in Africa of all places. I recommend you guys to read this book. It goes into like a lot of details about the African slave trade from the Arabs during that time period. And oh my god guys, it's just so sad to read. But I highly recommend this book for you guys. And of course, that does not count to modern day slavery that still goes on in Africa. So no, I do not buy for a single second that black lives do in fact matter in Islam. Throughout its 1400 years, Islam, as well as the other Abrahamic religion like Christianity, has proven that they do not care about black lives. They don't care about how people feel. All they want to do is sell black bodies and actually exploit them for slavery. Did you know that Zayd, the adopted son of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was black? even though the Prophet Muhammad himself was Arab. I find it so curious that you mention that Zayd was adopted by Muhammad because Zayd himself was also a slave. So conveniently for that little video that you guys did, you left out that detail. As far as Muhammad being Arab, it's kind of interesting because in the Hadith, 
he was described as a white man. There's like so many Hadith just talking about just how white his legs are, just how white his armpits are, just how white his face is. So it goes to like a lot of detail about how white Muhammad is. So here we have a guy who pretty much, of course, is described as white owning black slaves. The prophet said, Listen and obey your chief, even if an Ethiopian whose head is like a raisin were made your chief. So not only did Muhammad thought so little black people that he owned black slaves, but he also thought that Ethiopians look like raisins. So yeah, this guy right here is the best guy to model your whole entire life after. Um Ayman, who was a black former slave woman, was referred to by the Prophet peace be upon him as my mother after my mother and also as a woman of paradise. This point is irrelevant because as we established before, Muhammad had black slaves, he sold black slaves. So no matter how you paint it, Muhammad owned black slaves. There's a man by the name of Bilal who was a freed black slave. He was named the head of the Muslim treasury and was the first Muslim ever to do the call to prayer. Osama bin Zaid, a black Muslim, was the first commander of the Muslim army after the Prophet, peace be upon him, passed away, and no one objected or complained. Yeah, let's try to ignore any kind of context in which your religion openly support slavery. Well, you see, this example right here proves that a former slave was actually liberated by Islam. Oh my god, there's like another slave right here that was liberated by Islam. No. Islam was the main reason why people got enslaved in the begin with. So, no, you're not gonna pull that kind of turnaround right here. You're not gonna do it on my channel because Islam has slaves, freaking people after Muhammad died has slaves. So, no, Islam always supported slavery, probably would continue to support slavery unless there's some sort of reform going on right now. So, black lives have always mattered in Islam. So Muslims should join forces and stand up against inequality. Oh my god, that whole entire video was just painful. But to make up the pain for you guys, here's my sketch right here of the Prophet Muhammad. It's not the best sketch for the Prophet Muhammad, but it's my personal sketch of the Prophet Muhammad. And knowing that this whole entire sketch right here would probably kill me in Middle Eastern countries, I feel as though that I'm obligated to draw Muhammad and I also respond to this video because to use my voice, to use my platform to speak about injustice is very much needed because I'm sick and tired of seeing my fellow liberals out there that support or try to downplay Islam. Islam is very much anti-gay rights. It's anti-woman, it's anti-male, it's certainly anti-black. So. Islam is not for social justice. Islam is progressive by its very nature. So please guys, for the sake of political correctness, try not to always downplay Islam because Islam is not your friend. Of course, treat Muslims as people, but don't ever, ever downplay the serious graviness of this whole entire religion. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.